Ah, the cupcake. One of the cutest FNAF characters until FNAF 4 came out. First night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. <laughs> and until the FNAF movie came out because bro was just a menace in the movie. Now I'm not going to be talking about the Nightmare Cupcake or the FNAF movie version of him, but instead a version that doesn't even exist in FNAF history. Or does he? With that being the Withered Cupcake. Now a week or two ago, I made a short talking about what I think happened to the Withered Cupcake in FNAF with me, well, I'll just play the short for you guys, I'm not even going to try to explain it again. What happened to the Withered Cupcake in FNAF? Now as everyone knows in FNAF 2, there is no Withered Cupcake to be seen in the game, and that's because Withered Chica has no hands to hold it with. So what happened to the Withered Cupcake? Well, I know the answer, so before I tell you it, make sure to subscribe if you love Five Nights at Freddy's. Now, I have a pretty simple and easy explanation for this. In FNAF 2, you can unlock multiple secret plushies for your desk, with some of those including the animatronics, Golden Balloon Boy, and of course, the Cupcake. So I think that the Cupcake scene from FNAF 1 that is on your office is actually the Cupcake Withered Chica had, making this the Withered Cupcake this whole time. So that seems like it answered the question fairly easily, but maybe it didn't, because in the comments of that video you guys did disagree with me and it wasn't just a couple of you guys it was a lot of you guys so i will be looking at some of the most popular theories you guys have commented on that video while also trying to find a possibly better answer to that question so without further ado what happened to the withered cupcake in fnaf now i would like to say thank you guys for the massive support on the last video i made where i talked about why springtrap's jump scare is so bad it did really good and if this video does good as well i will continue to make videos like that one and this one because this one is going to be very similar to that one so if you love Fire Nights at Freddy's, make sure to subscribe. Anyways, let's get to answering this question. So looking at your guys' best theories, at least in my opinion, and while also thinking of some of myself, I compiled some good possible explanations for this question, with the first one being, well, wait a second. Attic partiers? Bro thinks Golden Balloon Boy stole the Withered Cupcake. Mmm, maybe. I don't I don't think that's true, but since Attic said it, I'm gonna just throw this opinion out of the video anyway, so get out of here. Anyways, a couple of you guys said that Wither Chica ate the cupcake, which the answer is obviously no, because it wouldn't have been her, it would have been Toy Freddy because of how thick he is. Okay, okay guys, these were just joke theories, but with those out of the way, let's get on to some of the real theories. Now a lot of people suggested that the Withered Cupcake was actually reused for Toy Chica, and was given a complete makeover so that it matched with the Toy Animatronics cutesy theme. This is a solid theory, but the only issue with this theory, and the majority of theories we'll be talking about is the fact that there is very minimal evidence to support said theory. But if we go out on a limb here and try to connect the dots and think outside of the box, then some of these theories begin to kind of make sense. Since Withered Chica lost her hands, whether that be because of her hands were being used for parts, or just because they were broken off or something, we can say that this is probably the main reason we have never seen the Withered Cupcake in any of the games. So because of this, I wouldn't be shocked if they just repurposed the cupcake because it was cheap and easy to refurbish instead of just making a new one. Now even though that this is a solid theory, I think there might be another one that has more potential evidence supporting it, with that being the theory that that there was never a withered cupcake. Now this one has the most merit behind it, since we don't actually need to attempt to piece together information or anything along the lines of that. With this theory, we can simply assume that since we never see the withered cupcake in FNAF 2, or in any of the FNAF games, it just never existed then. Now you might be saying, well maybe it's in the parts and service areas somewhere off camera, and I would agree with you if that weren't for one thing. With that one thing being the save them minigame in FNAF 2. After dying, you have a small chance to encounter the save them minigame, where you control withered Freddy and the FNAF 2 pizzeria. But during that mini game, you can explore the pizzeria and the parts and service area as well, where you can see Withered Foxy, Withered Bonnie, and most importantly, Withered Chica. But there is no cupcake to be seen. But then you go to the main stage area, and you can see all the toy animatronics. But what's that? Yep, you can see Toy Chica with the toy cupcake. And you can even see Freddy with his microphone and Bonnie with his guitar. So why would Scott purposely forget to include the Withered Cupcake? Well, as I was saying, that's because it never existed. Or going back into the last theory, that's because it was converted into the toy cupcake. Now this is also a pretty solid theory with pretty solid evidence, and it supports both theories pretty well. But if you think those theories solve the answer to this question, then you'd be wrong, because what if I told you that there is a more likely answer to this question that no one ever probably even considers or even thought about? Now just like my spring chat video, I went through the same process of analyzing a couple of theories to try and see which one would most accurately answer said question. But just like in that video, the answer isn't what it seems. 
Personally, I think the answer to this question is very simple. When Scott was developing FNAF 2, he probably never actually intended to create the Withered Cupcake, with there being a couple of possible reasons for this. Personally, I believe that Withered Chica is purposely missing both hands, and it isn't just a design choice. And the reason for that being is because Scott probably didn't have the extra time to work and completely recreate the cupcake. Thinking about it, it wouldn't make sense. He was already tasked with the creating the toy cupcake, and he had to have included it because it was part of Toy Chica's character design. But Wither Chica, well, just remove her hands, and now that's Wither Chica's character design. This same reason could be why Withered Bonnie is missing his face, so Scott didn't have to put in more time than necessary into the characters. Instead, putting that time into the gameplay and new animatronics and features. We also have to keep in mind that Scott created FNAF 2 within the span of two to three months, as the game was released in November 2014, when FNAF 1 released in August of that year. Now, unless Scott specifically stated somewhere that this was not the case, then this is probably the strongest and most convincing theory slash argument about this question. Why spend all that time making a new cupcake when you already have to make one for Toy Chica? This very much so could be why the cupcake from FNAF 1 can be seen in FNAF 2. Maybe this version of the cupcake was the one Wither Chica originally had, but due to proper maintenance or possible repairs, that's why it is in mint condition. Then when they moved over to the new pizzeria seen in FNAF 1, they just brought over that cupcake so the FNAF 1 version of Chica could hold it. Lore-wise, this wouldn't make sense, and also from a game development point of view, it makes sense as well. Now, whether this be the case or not, I think we can all assume that this is a pretty conclusive answer to that question. But if you don't think so, then just hold on a second because there is still one more theory about this that I think will actually provide us a real and lore-friendly answer to this question. In FNAF 4, we can see that Nightmare Chica has a different version of a cupcake, with that being the Nightmare Cupcake. But as we know, these versions of the animatronics aren't real because they are, well, just Nightmare versions. But do you know what these heavily exaggerated animatronics look like? Yep, the withered animatronics. Even they are extremely withered as well. Maybe not as bad as the actual withered animatronics are, but they are still pretty beaten up and destroyed. I believe that these animatronics are actually based on the withereds, and that this version of the cupcake is the real withered cupcake, even though it is just nightmarified. Now, we have never seen versions of the nightmare animatronics where they are normal, so we can only speculate on if this is a completely different version of the cupcake, or if it is a nightmare version of the normal cupcake. But due to it having a smaller mouth, and smaller eyes, and a shorter frame, I think we can assume that this is the actual Withered Cupcake. It has the same open jaw mouth like Withered Chica has, which would fit the design choice for the pair, which even more points to this being a separate version of the Cupcake. Now, what happened to this version of it? Unfortunately, I'm afraid we will never know, but I think we can just assume that everything I said about Scott focusing on different aspects of FNAF 2 is the reason we didn't get a chance to see it. So then Scott just used the FNAF 1 Cupcake as a placeholder instead, which would mean lore rise, Fazbear Entertainment ditched the design of the FNAF for animatronic in place for a more kid friendly one that wasn't as cutesy as a toy animatronic. But what do you think about this? What are your theories on this? If you enjoyed this video and didn't see my spring trap jump scare video, then that one is exactly like this one and I think you will enjoy it just as much as you enjoyed this video.